Okay, so we're back at our panels. Panels have glued up, panels are dry and ready to be planed. And this video, I'm gonna take you through planing. Um, the side panel here has already been planed. We're gonna cut it to size in a minute. Uh, it's still at a rough size, but it has been planed. And then I've got my top and bottom panel. So let's go to the planer. And the planer's gonna be loud. And what I'm gonna do is as I plane these, I always wanna have my worst side up. I always wanna have my worst side up. So we're gonna go back to the planer. <clears throat> Put on some headphones, cause it does get loud. Okay, <clears throat> normally we'd be playing follow the leader and it would take us three to four passes. Uh, it's kind of tough doing it by yourself. The final rip size on the top is six inches. So I'm gonna slide this over and I'm gonna leave the guard off so you can kind of see what's going on. Here we go. I'm going to start both hands behind the saw. I'm going to take my push stick. I'm going to let that fall to the floor. My final width for my bottom is ten and a half. And the final width for my side panel is 11. Okay, you can see that as I used the saw, I did not have the guard in place for demonstration purposes. Normally the guard would be up in place. Okay. At this point, you should have a top panel ripped to six, the bottom panel ripped to ten and a half, and I'm going to ask that you keep your scrap. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my two scrap pieces and I'm going to rip those to inch and a half. And you're gonna need those in a little while. Okay. That is ripping my pieces to size. The next thing I'm gonna do, don't need that scrap up on there, blades off. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cross cut my pieces to length. The final size of the side panel height is 12 inches. I'm gonna slide my fence back. I'm gonna take off the very minimum. I kick my board out, I come over, 
I put it up against here. I switch my hands. Kick out. I grab this piece. I come over. I kick out again. Okay, we'll turn the saw off. I do not go after that scrap. Now, what I've done is I've now cut two side panels. They are 11 inches wide, 12 inches tall, and they were cut using the rip fence as a stop gauge. My top and bottom, a little different, top and bottom are 18 inches long. I'm gonna cut my bottom first. I'm gonna cut off the bare minimum. I'm gonna pick up and come over here. Switching my fingers and hands again. Now, at this point you have some options. You can go to the miter saw and cut off one end. Measure it for length. If nobody's in line behind you, you can cut it like this. Hold it tight. And we'll put the rip fence back kind of where it goes. Okay. Now, let's take a look at what we've done here. We've taken the top and the bottom. We planed both of these. Got both sides good. Got the bottom side is 10 and a half this way. Eighteen inches long, top six inches wide, eighteen long, and I have two panels that are twelve by eleven. Okay. So everything's been planed, everything's been cut and ripped to size. I had the guard on the table saw off to show you and for demonstration purposes, normally you'd have the guard on. Normally I'd be sitting there with you catching, okay? So at this point, the bread box components are kind of starting to take shape. This concludes the video of planing and ripping and cross-cutting to size.